Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you could say that this is for the next seven days, the week ahead, whatever you want to say, okay? So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Now one, one card out. Let's see. What do we got for Taurus? All right. We got two. Let's just go with that. Cain, pay attention to your health. Pay attention to your health. Fox. Shrewdness and resource, resourcefulness, especially in business. Hmm. You may need to focus on your business, focus on your health. Maybe you focus on the health of your business. You focus on both, you know, your health and your business. Uh, maybe you need to focus on your money. Focus on your health, the health of everything in your life. What do we have for Taurus next seven days? What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? <laughs> liar. Somebody's dealing with a liar. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. You may catch somebody in a lie. <clears throat> Mm. They really miss you a lot. Somebody misses you a lot. Maybe they're lying about it. Mm. You will be attending a get-together soon. You're going to be attending a get-together soon. i got to show you what's on the bottom, okay? Oh, I just flipped it. Sorry. Your soulmate is not who you think it is. So your soulmate is not who you think it is. Interesting. Interesting. Somebody's lying. Somebody is lying. Hmm. And there's somebody here that really misses you a lot. And you're going to be attending a get-together soon. Now, this was supposed to be the next seven days, right? What do we have for Taurus? Okay. First card out is a Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Oh, there's your liar. Seven of Swords reversed. Well, that's wonderful. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Swords. That's in your future position. You may be cutting somebody out. Looks like you have the sword. Looks like you have... It's interesting because this Queen of Swords has two swords in her hand. So I feel like you're going to be getting some information. Okay, you're going to be laying the law down. I think you are going to be laying the law down. I think you're going to be uh, making a decision. Okay, it's an informed decision. You're going to be saying something. It may be harsh. Okay. This is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I think you receive the truth, and then you speak the truth. Okay? Hmm. Queen of Pentacles reverse. That's in the past. The Hermit reverse. Awakening of some sort. And the Nine of Wands. Let's talk about your person. Let's talk about somebody you're dealing with. Why don't we? That'd be nice. Okay, what a mess. It seems like it's a very messy situation. Ace of Swords. Whew. There's definitely going to be some truth that comes out. You're going to get some truth. Seven of Wands is going to be a fight. Eight of Swords reversed. An obstacle is going to be removed. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I'm not sure if you're, your person 
is dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or your person is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, there's going to be a fight. There's going to be a fight with that Seven of Wands. An obstacle is being removed. Somebody may be breaking free. Seven of Wands is, is in a position. Whoever you're dealing with is in a stiff well, they're in a position where there's some stiff competition. There's a fight. There's going to be a fight. There's going to be an argument with an individual. This person is struggling, but they're still on top. New truth, awakening, a wake-up call. Somebody's getting a wake-up call. They may get some sort of epiphany. Breaking free, breaking free from a situation. There's definitely lies with the Eight of Swords reverse. It feels like you're dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could also be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could also be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. This has to do with happiness. It has to do with a relationship. That is what's coming in. Happiness. Okay, what's coming in is something to do with a relationship, you know, the Ten of Cups. That, that's what's coming in. So there's happiness here. There's a blessing here. And the, they're seeing very clearly with the Seven of Cups reverse. I feel like there's some clarity. Somebody has received some clarity or they're going to be receiving some clarity. Especially with the Eight of Swords. I mean, the Ace of Swords. That's clarity. That's, that's information. Somebody's going to be receiving some information. May have this may have to do with independence, you know, not being I mean, you, you know, I don't know if this is the next seven days or what, or if you're already in a relationship. Nine of Pentacles reversed in the past. That's independent, not happy being independent. You may have somebody here that is very insecure. They've been confused. They've been in a state of illusion. It's probably you. Maybe it has to do with giving up your independence. Queen of Pentacles reversed, in, right next to the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Those are both in the past. That's telling me that you, okay, and me, okay, there's some sort of insecurities here. There could be some jealousy issues. There could be um, a need to take action, need to find discipline, need to have some, find some clarity, come out of confusion, something to do with independence. Because we have the Nine of Wands underneath the, the Queen of Pentacles. That's below you. Okay, so where you've been, you've probably grown weary. You may be in defense mode. Maybe you've built a wall, okay, a fortress, the Nine of Wands around yourself because of your own insecurities. There's definitely insecurities here with the Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. That's insecure. Time to reconnect. In the future with the hermit reverse that's come out of hiding, socializing. Something about loneliness, you know, it could be the end of, I don't know what I, what this is. Uh, the hermit reverse, the hermit reversed is, is coming out of hiding. It's coming out of that cave, reconnecting, you know, uh, socializing. Nine of wands is below you. That's, that's like protection. You know, so that's being alone. It's like protecting yourself. I feel like you've been wounded. That's your wounded warrior card, right? It's like you see the shield. The shield, and when you see a shield, that's the need to protect yourself. You know, it's like you've, you feel the need to defend yourself. That's where below you is. You've been in defense mode. That's where you've been. You've, you've been in defense mode. Some of you, some of you may, you know, be focusing on your business more, more interested in money, more interested in money than anything else. Queen of Pentacles reverse. That's like not focusing on a relationship. Could be like money. It's all about the money. It's all about the money, honey. You know that kind of thing. But the Seven of Swords reversed. That that's right in the middle. Okay, that's right now. I feel like I don't know if you're gonna get caught. If you're gonna run into somebody. Knight of Cups reverse. You're not looking for a relationship. What the hell is going on here? There could definitely be a run-in with the Seven of Swords reversed, the Knight of Cups reversed. There's some sort of protection here as well. It's like you're protecting yourself. The Nine of Wands is protection, and that's where you've been, protecting yourself. It's mirroring the Ten of Cups. 
I wonder if somebody is coming back around with a seven of swords reversed. There's some sort that maybe this person deceived you. They lied. There, there's your liar. Somebody has lied. Somebody has lied. They've lied. They've lied about their feelings. Knight of Cups reversed. Somebody has lied and they really miss you a lot. Coming out of hiding. Could be dealing with a Virgo. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have everybody here. Very insecure, ungrounded, not happy, in protection mode. But coming in is the Ten of Cups. That's a spiritual blessing. The storm is over. That's happiness. It's a happy relationship. It's happy. If you've been fighting with somebody, I don't know if you're with this person already. If you've been fighting or there's been some sort of miscommunication and, you know, there's been a battle over, you know, a position. You Maybe if you've been fighting, you know, competing with your partner or whoever this person is doesn't have to be a lover. I don't know who it is. It feels like you've been dealing with some sort of stiff competition with whoever your person is that we're talking about. This person has definitely been lying about something and sometimes people lie out of fear. An obstacle is being removed. The Eight of Swords is about fear, but it's reversed. That's releasing fear. Releasing fear, fighting for fighting, you know, or getting in position, not going to give up. I'm not going to give up on this. I don't want to give up on this. I don't want to give up on this. There's there's feelings being expressed. Somebody doesn't want to give up. They don't want to give up. Maybe it's, I think it's your person, but I think that they don't want to give up on the partnership or they don't want to give up on you. Coming out of hiding. Maybe this person has gone through some sort of awakening with the Hermit Reverse. They've gotten some sort of epiphany. You're going to be put in a position where you have to make a decision. Definitely, you're going to receive information. You're going to be communicating. Okay, there's some sort of the Queen of Swords is making a informed decision. Use your intuition. Uh, listen, listen. Give this person a chance. I feel like I feel like you. Somebody is really going to. Uh, you may question, you may question the whole situation. It's like, and it feels like you're not really looking for a relationship or something, or maybe you're not looking for a commitment. I mean, I don't know what the hell this is. Knight of Cups reverse. It's like not right behind the Queen of Swords. So I'm not looking for a relationship. We could also have somebody here that is uh, doing something deceptive. This person is deceptive, they're jealous, they're selfish, they're not happy with being alone. This could be an ex. There could be an ex here that is trying to cause problems. Just saying. There could definitely be an ex here that is not happy about your relationship and they're trying to cause problems. This person is wounded, they're hurt, they're doing something shady, they're doing something sneaky. That's sneaky. This could be somebody from your past or somebody from their past. There is definitely an, I feel like it's an ex here that is, is trying to cause, maybe trying to cause a breakup or trying to cause a separation. Either it's your ex or their ex. There is an ex here, I do believe. This person is probably going to try to cause a fight, whether they're causing, there is an ex here I feel like is trying to cause a fight, okay? Um. Let me just straighten this out. And there's going to be a straightening it out. You're going to straighten this whole thing out. This person may think that they're going to straighten it out. But I feel like what's going to happen is it's going to make your bond stronger with whoever it is that you are bonding with. It's not going to work out. It's not. You definitely have somebody here that is not happy. They're not happy about your happiness. They miss you a lot or they miss your person a lot and I feel like this person's going to put up a fight and I feel like it's because they're jealous. I feel like it's because they're jealous and they're needy and they don't want to be alone. I feel like... Uh, 
you probably need to protect yourself. You need to continue to protect yourself, okay? Protect your energy. Maybe you need to cut somebody out. Maybe you need to block somebody, okay? And, or maybe your person needs to block this person. There's definitely somebody here that is doing something extremely, extremely shady. I also feel like you have somebody here that is going to own up. They're going to own up to their feelings. You know, whether it's your per Yeah, there is his acting on feelings. There is somebody here that is going to tell you their feelings. They're going to tell you how they feel about you. And I feel like whoever that person is, I think it's a loving uh, message. It's expressing loving feelings towards you. Somebody's going to, maybe they were held back by fear or they were held back by this ex or they were worried about what this ex was going to do or if it, what this ex was going to do. Yeah, they were worried. Or this person may be worried about the comp competition. Anyhow, there's definitely um, somebody that is going to be expressing feelings for you. They're going to be communicating with you. They're going to be telling you something. I feel like it's very truthful. And I feel like they they're, it's almost like they're forced to because of whoever this other person is that is, you know, it's like the, it's going to backfire on this person. Whoever this malicious person is, it's going to backfire. It's really going to backfire. I feel like you're going to be caught off guard. You are going to be caught off guard. I feel like there is somebody here that, you know, is, I don't know if they're breaking free. They could be breaking free from something that has restricted them or confined them and they, they communicate with you. Or if you've been fighting, if you've been fighting with somebody that you're already with, I think that things are going to change because that Ten of Cups is what's coming in, which is happiness. It's extreme happiness. It's a happy relationship. Okay. It's things getting better. I, the truth, the truth is going to, whenever this, whatever, the, it's like, it's going to bring relief as well. Whenever this comes out, it's like, whew, you know, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very, very, very insecure, um, whether it's their ex or your ex or I don't know who it is. It's somebody that is jealous and insecure. This person may be um, very unstable. They like to fight and they're planning something. It's like they think they think with with, with whatever they're about to say, they think it's going to cause a separation. I don't think that's what's going to happen. There's some sort of clarity that is coming. There's some sort of truth that is about to come out. It feels like I feel it feels like <laughs> I feel like you got somebody here that is uh scheming. They're scheming, they're scheming against you. And this could be even somebody that's trying to and if it's this isn't relationship, this is somebody that maybe is trying to get your money, okay? So I, this is that's another whole story. It says shrewdness and resourceful, resourcefulness, especially in business. With the Queen of Pentacles reversed and Nine of Pentacles reversed, that's like a business person, a businesswoman, businessman, whatever. This is somebody trying to take credit for your work. You know, I think that you need to protect, to protect your money, protect your bank account. You know, change your passwords, do whatever you got to do. You could have a scammer here or a schemer here that you know is. Uh, watching you you know there could be some undercover work here just that's another whole story with the seven of swords reversed next to the eight of pentacles reversed and the nine of pentacles reversed i don't know if you've obtained some sort of abundance you know and there's there's some sort of uh there's somebody here that is emotionally unstable and they're probably financially unstable they could be trying to deceive you you know in the financial arena so I think that you need to be careful of that. Whenever you get the Seven of Swords upright or reverse, it's be careful. And then we have these money cards right around it. Be careful. Be careful with your money. Make sure that you have everything protected. We have protection with the Nine of Wands. Protect your assets. Protect your money. Protect your, your wherever your money is going out. Protect it. You do have happiness coming in. I don't think you're really looking for it, though. I don't. I really... Re it, 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 not that you're not looking for happiness. Well, maybe you're quite happy with yourself. 
Anyhow, the Knight of Cups reverse. That's like not looking for a relationship. And then we get the Queen of Swords. Maybe you're very, the Queen of Swords is very independent. It's a very independent energy. This is somebody that has been hurt, you know, that has their guard up, ready to cut anybody that comes close, okay? Hermit reverse that's coming out of hiding. Reconnecting, socializing. Four of Wands, right next to the Queen of Swords. Four of Wands about happiness, commitment, marriage, proposal. Get together. A gathering. You may meet some, if you are single and you're not looking and you go someplace, you could meet somebody at this gathering, this get together. This celebration, whatever it is. There could definitely be, I don't know what this is, it's a, some sort of engagement or proposal or commitment, something about a commitment. You, some of you may receive news of a marriage or you may be invited to a marriage or a wedding or could even be a funeral. I mean, this is some sort of, or a festival. It's a festival or a get together or party or something like that. Whatever this is, it's happiness. It's, it, it is happy. It is happy. It's like singing. This is joyful. This is happiness. Knight of Pentacles. Now, when I fell, it's, it's Knight of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles reversed is no planning, not planned, unplanned. This is totally unplanned. Devil, strong, strong, strong bond, tempted, desire. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. You have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. But we have a strong bond. We have a very, and it's a very uh, sexual energy here as well. Breaking free from a toxic situation, giving up. You, you, and that's on your person. That's on your person. I feel like you, you are dealing with somebody that is breaking free. They're breaking free from a toxic bond. They've been restricting themselves, but now they're taking a new position. They're letting go of. Whatever this Knight of Pentacles reverse, they could be they, maybe they dealt with somebody that was unfaithful, that wasn't committed, that was lazy, that dropped out. That's like giving up, something coming to a stop. It's like it's an unplanned, you know, breaking free, breaking free from a toxic situation, following the heart. Somebody is going, it's totally unplanned. So I would say that you need to get prepared. I feel like you're about to receive something or somebody's going to communicate with you. And I think that you don't expect it. I feel like it is definitely not planned. Ooh. King of Swords. Oh my God. Something about sex. Unplanned commitment. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then we, and it's interesting. Wow. I can't even get over this. Okay, we got the Queen of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the King of Swords. This was like, I can't really hold them, but it was like this. 
So this is like a soulmate connection. That is a soulmate connection. I don't know if you're getting into some sort of, are you, or you're commit, I don't know what is going on. If you are committed, if you're going to be getting into a commitment with somebody. Anyway, maybe you're going to be stepping it up to the next level, level with somebody. Maybe you're going to be committing to somebody. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I mean, maybe you didn't plan on it. I don't know what is going on here, but uh, expect the unexpected. Good luck. <laughs> 